G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here. I'm stoked you can join me today as we look at a Kickstarter campaign. About three months ago, I was asked if I could provide all the creative muscle into a Kickstarter campaign that I want to show you today. So if you enjoy this content and you're enticed in to the channel, check out some of the other videos. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and join in the creative crew as we put out content on Tuesdays and Saturdays and have a blast doing it. So let's get into it. Hi guys, it's Bruce from Nutra Nourish TL. And this is a project for those of you who love coffee and care about their health. So that is the beginning of the feature video of our Kickstarter campaign. So to understand a little bit about this, we're going to go to the website now and I want to talk you through some of the intricacies and things about Kickstarter from a creative point of view that might just entice you or inspire you or help you if you're in this thing or you might even want to support the Kickstarter. But anyway, let's um let's have a look. This is the website that you go to when you start a Kickstarter campaign. It always has a feature video. It needs to have a feature video, otherwise it's just lame. Like they don't say that because they can't say it's lame, but if it doesn't have one, there's some horrific percentage of Kickstarters that don't get funded if you don't have a video. So one of the primary challenges of us was to get a video that really worked. And so we um, we wrestled with this, we played with this, we were scripted, there was numerous attempts. And what we have here is the final product. So I'm going to play through a little bit of it. We'll jump around because there's some interesting things I want to talk about that compile this video. So, um, well, you've seen the intro already. Hey guys, it's Bruce from Nutra Nourish TL. And this is a project for those of you who love coffee and care about their health. So let's get let's get started or into it. Uh, this is this is Bruce Holger. He is the brains behind this whole operation who I'm working with. And this is our video. Now, just have a look at this. We It took us ages to find the right kitchen to film this in. I originally said, let's go outside, film outside. Holger was a little bit like skeptical about that idea. And so we, we arrived at this kitchen. This kitchen is stunning. Uh, here's some vantage point of what the kitchen looks like. And as you can see, lighting this was a, a bit of a dream. So we had our, our main light just here. We had light streaming in from the window onto the left side of his face from here. And then I used a back highlight. So we have a key light facing, um, lighting up his right front, the side light, which is the window from the outside, and then a highlight light, which is slightly behind him. Now, here's the challenge that we faced. When you look at this, there's a um, one of those fridges that's smart, that just tells you everything to do and what you need and stuff, but it had this dirty big LCD screen, which was just totally annoying. So that's just off frame to the right. However, just off frame to the left is the sink. And so we had to position this just bang on so it was straight, but also tucked in, but had a bit of the bench and the top of his head. So it took a while just to get that nailed. Then you'll see there's a range hood, that's what we call it in Australia, which is just to um, over his right shoulder, which is over the stove to take up the heat. But there was this dirty big reflection from the light that was caught in that, as there was from the fridge. So we had to position all our lighting. So it wasn't only out of frame, but the reflections of which weren't distracting because we couldn't do anything about that. We also didn't want to create any shadows, so we had to light powerfully but from a long way back and diffuse that light. And then we had to microphone him. So we opted against a lav mic, which would look just a little bit tacky and not as pro as we wanted to be. And I got the NTG3. It's the one I use from here. It's a boom mic from Rode. We boomed it just out of shot, so it picks up the maximum amplification, but the minimum reverb. So reverb, is, especially in kitchens, is the echo. It's as the sound bounces back in, and we wanted to minimize that because it's just distracting. Good audio is essential. And so we had this, this down. Then he's like, I need some words. He'll shoot me for saying this, but he, he, he was like, I need to... I need to be able to remember what I'm saying. And as you can tell, as you watch this for yourself later on, maybe uh, he had a few words. So we put a teleprompter just under camera, which I don't think it looks like he's looking at the teleprompter, but don't tell too many people that it's sort of like a 
bit of a trade secret. We then wanted to put some soundtrack to it, like a boppy soundtrack, kind of get people into it, but not overpowering, just as sort of as an audio bed to to hold it together so the silences wouldn't weren't intimidating. And we did that. We then filled it with some stock video. Watch this. Into it as we need your support. You like coffee? The smell. We had a the variety. Aroma, the culture the kick and the coffee routine in the morning and it's at this point i would love to say this video was brought to you by but it's not it's not we just uh sourced this stock footage um from the internet and um it's uh, we have the rights to use it and so we used it um to capture the feel and the the sense of story that we're trying to to convey so it had to be a mixture of seeing holger and building trust but also at the same time of feeling the things that he was talking about and being emotionally drawn into them you want to be healthy and active because life without pain is a better life isn't it i'm sure we all agree on that yes now this is this shot I'm pretty proud of. We wanted to do something different, a uh, different shot about making coffee. It's an instant coffee powder with curcumin to make you more healthy, um, and so we're trying to convey that. And this is what we came up with. Provide you a simple way to make good. Oh, look at that shot! Look at it. That is with a big bit of PVC pipe and some glad wrap over my phone. And it's it's balanced here by a few books and a couple of like plier things, and I then pressed record and position the phone. Um, but I I looked underneath it, so I had the phone slightly off the bench. <laughs> it was quite a drama, and then poured the teaspoon in, and so it looks like you're inside the cup. Very exciting. And actually help. And then I love this. You see this? You see this little bit of like sunshine here. That's caused by the reflection from the light coming in from here, and it either illuminated the porcelain, which made this light, or it bounced the light off here. I'm not sure how it did it, but it's a nice little touch. Um, and then I made it, but I kept the cup in exactly the right place all the way through, and then just chopped those scenes uh, on top of each other, and so it looked like it was a really short um, uh, segment when actually it probably took half an hour to film. Uh, but we uh, did this by keeping the cup in dead center. I had a um, the tripod that shot down, shot top downs, and I made sure I didn't touch or move the um, the cup throughout the whole process. And it, it came off, came off now, right. Now watch this. It's anti-inflammatory. It's antioxidant. Provides pain relief and joint support. Just to name. You want to make a list exciting? Boom. Because the list before that we had was boring. And so that's simply photoshopped transparencies layered on top of each other with the sound effect as they come through. But uh, it just brings the point across, I think, in a more creative manner. I think the other thing to say at this thing is the, the scene that we composed, as you can see, it's got the, the coffee here to the left. It's got the plant here to the right. There was all sorts of other things on there that we removed. We removed some things from the fridge. But we composed for the camera lens, not for the eyes. So when you stand back and you look at the scene, you think it has to be a certain way. But when you look through the camera, it the perspectives are all slightly different. So we composed for the perspectives of the screen. So, so when you're designing a set, do it through the lens of the camera and what focal length you're going to use. This was shot at a shutter speed of 50. Uh, 24 frames a second in 4k on my Nikon Z6 so that I could crop in if I needed to which I ended up not having to do at all and also so our base video was of highest quality that we could possibly get and the aperture was set to 4 and I shot this on 24 mils and we just moved the camera to be exactly where we wanted it to be but it came up nice and Nice and sharp, don't you think? We also wanted to make sure that this video was under three minutes. More than two and a half minutes seemed like a long time for somebody to watch a video unless it was moving at a rapid pace. So we, we nestled it into two minutes and 35. Uh, that wasn't compromising a lot. We created some space there so you could be carried along, not so it was like a brrrr uh, getting to the end point. So have a look, see what you think. I'd be keen to know if you would do anything different. I wanted a much funkier and punchier intro. Kind of like a. Doo -doo 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 -doo. However, Holger was like, nah, like let's just 
ease people into it. So it'd be interesting to see what you think. Would you comment below? Would you like a punchier intro or more interesting intro? Or was it great just to get straight into it after a bit of a logo show? Let us know. When you look at a Kickstarter campaign, you have the pledge required, which is 4,834. I've got one backer so far. This has just gone live, literally half an hour ago, um, and it's got 29 days to go. So it's a 30-day campaign. And basically, on the right-hand side, you have the options that you can pledge. And on the left-hand side, you have all the content of the campaign. Now, you can't change this word story just here. You're stuck with that. But you also, the other two options you have when it comes to fonts and sizes, you have a header font and a normal font and everything else. If you want it funky, has to be a graphic. So I created all these graphics for the headings as we went through. Um, some product photography there, um, which obviously I took. Uh, we don't know this chick. Thank you, whoever you are, but we don't know her. Uh, and then we just used different images that we had, different images that we found that were royalty free, obviously, just to communicate and break up this text. So the text explores and explains what the product is, how it works, what the benefits are of it. Then we have this top down shot of the main ingredients of the product. So there's coffee, there's turmeric, and then there's curcumin, which is extracted from the turmeric. And we wanted something that just captured those elements uh, and their top down shots that I took between you and I. Not super happy with the highlights on the curcumin. I should have lit it from above rather than the side. I'm not changing it now. Then if we start to rain, it's raining a lot lately, isn't it? My videos, mm, it's winter on the Gold Coast. This is our feature image. And what I love about this, so uh, uh, this took ages, look, ages and ages, and it was like the eighth attempt at different ideas. But this is a top down on a laminate tile I bought from a hardware store. The laminate tile was about here. I plonked it on the table, put a cup of coffee here, and we had pots and stuff. And in the end, it just didn't work. So I just like dropped some coffee beans, I plonked the powdered down in the top left turn corner and then I'm like it's gone everywhere it's even gone over the packet and I'm like oh we want some negative space basically when you do food photography and product photography you're going to use negative space so I use that and then edit it all up made it nice and crunchy like crunchy um, textures and then I use the calibration function on Lightroom to bump up the oranges and bump up the blues that you can't see when you look at this but it makes such a difference. It makes it really pop and go, come on, look at me. So are you? Are you looking? Ha! All right. We had these cool little funky things. We had to reposition them. And I had to, some of them were already done. I had to create this one, I think. Um, and we moved them apart so that they filled the real estate that's there before they were really crunchy together. Didn't work. Did this cool, like, it's meant to be a little bit animated, uh, how we make it for those who are visually inclined, like me. Um, and it just explains the whole process in one infographic that was fun to do. We use the same font throughout the whole campaign, just one font, different sizes throughout the whole lot. Uh, no bolding it, no nothing. We just changed the size of it through the whole lot. And if we head down, then I made a GIF. Gosh, it was interesting. It was learning experiences. I'd never made a GIF before. A GIF is a series of images that are stacked together that come across as a video uh, they're much smaller and on kickstarter campaigns they start automatically they you just roll over them and this is what happens so you would have seen this from earlier before but it's basically it shows people how easy this thing is to make made in australia we combine these stock images and these stock images to say look this is how you can use it this is how you're experiencing it uh, and then had this cool little video we won't watch all of it that we made from scratch. We made instant coffee and curcumin powder. Just That's me. Doing a voiceover. I just wish I had a deep voice. Which is with a anyway, um, you can have a look at it. It goes through, but we shot this local. Like, and catching up on all those text messages. To getting out into nature. And then he makes the coffee. Beach. There's this epic you scene I want anyway. you to see. Just hang on for two seconds. And it was, come on, you're going to do it? Double. There it is. So that was cool. But also this, watch this, watch this. Alright. 
Sorry, I won't bore you anymore. So, it, again, video reinforcement throughout. Uh, we put a lot of video work into this and into our Instagram page, which is using some of these videos and a variety of others. Uh, we found that reels on our Instagram page had massive engagement, whereas stills had very little engagement whatsoever. Then we talked about our bags. So here's some product photos of the bags that have the dimensions on them so people can see how they can uh, fit into their lives and how moldable they are. But then, all right, let's watch this. Just it's, it's 25 seconds. Can you hang out for 25 seconds? Here we go. Have you seen our new bag? They're very versatile. You can store them everywhere, take them anywhere, for every moment where you need a coffee. There you go. So again, just another short video. Um, and then we have a bit of a process using a GIF. So it starts with turmeric, powdered turmeric, extract the curcumin, add coffee, get curcumin coffee. Here's the cup, put the cup, put it in the cup, add hot water, go again. So again, just something to capture people's attentions, move them emotionally, get them creatively involved in the project. And then we talked about its full bodied flavor. We had some influencers say how much um, they enjoyed it and what they thought of it. I didn't have anything to do with chasing those things down. Uh, here's another product shot that we took. Then we talked about the health benefits with, again, an image to reinforce, the flavor benefits with coffee beans. Mm -hmm. And when I, was, when I was mucking about the coffee beans, I had this, like, two-kilo bag. Maybe it was a five-kilo bag, and I dropped it all over the table, all over the floor. Oh, my. That, that would have been a video. Then we made this cool little, I don't know, what is it? graph graphic thing it took me ages to take this shot just forever but we nailed it in the end um, and regular coffee versus cocoa and coffee again it's it's true but it's a, a way of, of capturing people depending on whether they want to read or whether they want to um, stats or whether they want uh, videos or photos it's just another way she just really enjoying coffee talk about the science behind curcumin this is another stock footage stock video obviously but um, just shares about it. Some of the other um, uh, items that are on sale with a with a Kickstarter, you cannot sell the product or at all before you start the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter is to kickstart it, so you can't create a product, sell it, and then go. Let's raise some money on Kickstarter. It has to be brand new and something that's not happened before, which is a really exciting thing to be involved with, I reckon. And again, there's some product reviews. Um, I just had to muck about with them on Photoshop and make sure they're all lined up and they're all congruent and all quality enough that you can actually read them. I wanted to put a photo of Holger in here, but the problem with doing that is you can't run text by the side of images. You have to put it underneath and it just looks strange and a bit weird. Woo! So I would be fascinated to see to hear what you think. Um, have a look at the pro. Have a, go go to Kickstarter. I'll put a link in the description below. Have a look at the campaign, and I will be super keen to hear uh, what you feel about the product as a result of seeing the campaign. Like just from a purely creative point of view, what do you feel about their product having seen the campaign? Um, and I've talked you through a little bit of it. If you want to support it that would be amazing like if you think this is for you um it ships to most places in the world i think at least mainly where you are i'm sure so if you want to back it uh, there's all sorts of ways you can back it but we'd love love you to be part of it and to see where this goes there's some incredible stories behind kickstarters there's also some dismal um, failures we want to be in the first category not the second category so we'll um we'll see has today been fun? Have you have you learned something? Have you been inspired? Has that been enjoyable? Have you been stirred creatively? Have you been moved? I hope so. I hope this has been beneficial to you. I hope you've been equipped. If you're facing your own Kickstarter or any sort of creative campaign, get your creative on and see what's inside because it's going to be valuable and bring value to this world. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.